Well, I grew up in the area. Um, I actually graduated from Austin Town Fitch, and uh, shortly after that, I had uh, a life-changing experience, you know. And um, so I, I I got hired in shortly after that at General Motors in Lordstown. So I've been in the area for a long time, and I felt a strong calling as I was there. Um, I felt led into education, so I ended up going to uh, YSU and getting my teaching degree and became a teacher. Choice with teaching. So I actually, <laughs> I got uh, my license in math, social studies, and reading um, is a middle childhood education, which is grades four through nine. It's, uh, I think the middle school grades are very formative. I think about my own life and how during that time I was, you know, going through a lot of different things at home. So I was looking at uh, you know different questions and so I thought that would be an opportunity for me to really make an impact on students and in, in, at a very formative time in their life. I taught in a charter school in Youngstown and uh, it was a you know a very interesting experience for me. I was anticipating being better prepared for what I was getting myself into and I found myself really, uh, you know, having to learn a lot in a very short period of time. Uh, I didn't understand the situation that I was getting into, so I had to, um, you know, understand what the students knew so I could identify their strengths and weaknesses, as well as learn about their home life. Mm -hmm. um, so I, you know, did a lot of home visits, met students at their house, met their parents, uh, invited their parents into the classroom. Um, so there was a whole learning curve there for me, and that's really what kind of led to me needing something that would help me to understand my students more efficiently. I found myself putting grades in the grade book all day on Sunday after grading papers all day Saturday and trying to think about, okay, uh, <clears throat> these students didn't understand what I was trying to teach them. Right. So I had to go back and reteach. So I found myself in that constant reteach cycle. And that's really what led to the idea for Lightning Grader. But it's also, you know, was my desire to adapt my instruction to really help those students. Oh yeah, definitely. I, like I said, I was grading papers all day Saturday, putting grades in the grade book Sunday, and then realized that my students didn't understand what I had already moved on from. So they weren't gonna get what I moved on to if mm -hmm. they didn't get what I was trying to teach them before. And so that's really where I looked for products, tools, anything that would help me to, to close that loop um, between the teaching and the learning. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find anything that was really paper driven. Uh, you know, there was obviously the clickers. So, you know, I knew some folks at Turning Technology, which mm -hmm. is a great company. Uh, they gave me a set of clickers. So I was using those in the classroom as well. Um, but as far as paper goes, you know, there's the old Scantron machines with the bubble sheets. Right. But that's expensive and it's out of date. So what I needed was I needed to combine that, the, the bubble options, as well as the constructed response. Because I needed to see the students work as a math teacher. Mm -hmm. And so that's what, when I <coughs> realized that there wasn't anything out there to meet that need, that's what led to the development of the idea for the lightning grader. I was coming up to the end of the school year and I've never, you know, ha had a summer where I didn't work. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay, what am I going to work on this summer? And the idea uh, for the lightning grader was on my mind. So my wife encouraged me to pursue that idea. Um, I did some research on the incubator, knew about the incubator, did a little bit more research on them, set up a meeting with Jim Costler and I uh, came down and pitched my idea to him and uh, he made me a portfolio company so I got to use the lab space downstairs for free uh, you know free internet free space free consulting and so continued to do that with him and throughout that summer and then I started building my team I connected with YSU some professors at YSU that connected mm -hmm. me with some of their different networks uh, at different universities they had come through. So I was able to connect with an image processor through that and then started building a team and then um, went back into the classroom for a year and was slowly kind of building the product up and, and building the team. And then we were able to actually do what we set out to do in April of 2011 was the first time that we graded a piece of paper 
via a web-based application. And so that was a pretty awesome moment for me, you know, a little celebration right. in the office. That fall, in uh, September, August, September, we actually had some schools that were willing to pay for it. Uh, they, they bought it and they were our feedback loop in that MVP process to mm -hmm. give us the information that we needed to make it better. And so we started through that process. You know, Youngstown is a great place for our business. Uh, there's definitely talent here, as well as the fact that at this point, with technology, you really can work, can work anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. Uh, we have, you know, our folks are semi-remote even here locally. Uh, within you know 45 minute driving distance of Youngstown there's a lot of talent and so our development team comes in one day a week um, and so we there's no real high restriction there on them to do certain things mm -hmm. and so we're just you know plowing and moving forward there's no plans for us to move uh, cost of living is low right the uh, real estate's good you know everything's good in terms of the business climate and so there's really no reason for us to go anywhere else. So moving forward in those areas, I see us continuing to advance uh, with doing different types of um, reading of text, uh, as well as just reading the optical mark read, but also the optical character recognition, mm -hmm. so that we could actually read text on the piece of paper as well. Um, different forms, so that we could do different types of forms also. And that's going to allow us to work with more partners as well. So that's our goal really is to work with other companies that are already in assessment of some sort. And so we'll be continuing to work with them. So as we move forward over the next couple of years, just continuing to innovate on the technology side and then working with uh, more and more partners as well to, to get our product out there to help folks that are working um, on assessment with students or even in the job market or th different things like that. Well, I would say that, you know, you're, when you're starting a business, you're always, you're, you're on the lookout for people that are gonna help you, um, maybe even that are going to connect the dots. And that's certainly an important part of the process. Definitely building your network, building your team, that's very, very important. One, one word of advice in terms of a caution is that there's no silver bullet. You know, you're gonna come across a lot of people and some people are gonna be able to help and some people, you know, are just gonna be support in different ways for you. But don't necessarily look for the silver bullet. The silver bullet is your hard work. It really comes down to what time, energy, effort you're willing to put into what you're trying to accomplish. Um, it's your mission behind it. I think that's very important. You know, if I wouldn't, uh, if I didn't really believe that I was called into education, and had kind of that strong mission behind me, I think that I probably would have went in a different direction a long time ago. Because right. it's certainly not easy. You know, I tell that story, but in that story, I don't tell about the times where I didn't take a paycheck for months on end. I never missed a paycheck for one of my guys, from anybody on my team, but for myself, there were a lot of times where I had to look my wife in the face and say, hey, you know, it's gonna be really hard during these next couple months. Right. But that's the type of stuff that you have to make a decision are you willing to do and I would say why not mm -hmm. why not go for it why not take the risk believe in yourself trust in yourself and then push forward in that way